couple of my favorite things out of the gates, like I mentioned, are going to be high quality methylated B vitamins, you know, B1, B2, B3, which are going to be uh, thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, um, pyridoxal 5-phosphate, right, which is B6, pentothenic acid, which is B5. I think B7 is biotin, right? And then B9 is going to be folate. And then your B12, make sure it's either methylated, hydroxylated, or, or adenosyl B12, which are excellent sources of B vitamins. So those are going to be great out of the gates. Um, outside of that, things that support acetylcholine are going to be excellent. So either taking acetylcholine or using an, an, an herb called huperzine. Huperzine A is, is excellent at supporting that. Um, I think here, um, a couple of the things that um, acetylcholine really is very, it's, it really improves the cholinergic neurotransmission, which in, it basically it helps with cognition, decreases the decline of cognition. Anything else you wanted to say on acetylcholine or huperzine out of the gates? Yeah, I've played with acetylcholine a lot. It's kind of the forgotten neurotransmitter. I think you and I have done a great job of kind of highlighting this. You know, we've hit on dopamine, we've hit on serotonin, we've hit on GABA, but man, you rarely have people talking about acetylcholine. So it's it's probably easier to work in this mechanism, which is the huperzine is inhibiting the Break enzyme down. from breaking yeah. it down. So the, the acetylcholinase, acetylcholine, acetylcholine esterase, which is going to be, you know, it's an enzyme because the ASC, that is what breaks down acetylcholine. So it's slowing down the breakdown. And again, choline is something we find in liver, uh, egg yolks. So it's really important in like high quality animal products. And we're basically slowing the breakdown. Yeah. So you can do both, right? You could come in with the good foods and good fats, and then you can try to slow the breakdown of that Correct. And it, it's pretty cool. So there, there are a couple papers on this, Huperzine specifically, they talk about it, uh, modifying the beta amyloid peptide processing, re reducing oxidative stress. Also, they talk about helping yep. with the secretion of NGF, which is nerve growth factor. So that's really cool. And then it says here, finally, this is the research paper. Finally, Huperzine A can significantly improve cognitive function in patients with mild to moderate vascular dementia. So that's pretty impressive. And I personally just take this ongoing. I'm not necessarily fearful, but I just want my brain to function the best. So I do supplement on and off with some of these brain nutrients we're talking about. Correct. And it also helps improve mitochondrial function in the brain. So we have mitochondria in every cell, uh, I think, except red blood cells, right? And basically the mitochondria is the powerhouse where it generates ATP. And that's a really important fuel source. And so one, it's neuroprotective. So if you have chemicals or, or not so good compounds floating around the brain, mycotoxins, whatever, it's going to protect it from being damaged. And it's also going to help the mitochondria of the brain to generate ATP. So that's important too. Let's talk about the next one on our list here, the EGCG, which is going to be the polyphenol coming from green tea, because this is really yep. cool. The study here talks about the enhanced transport of huperzine is possible with the EGCG. So they found that when they were able to stack these two nutrients together, you get even more bang for your buck, which is what we find a lot with nutrients when you and I are working on gut infections, right? We'll find that the individual parts are not as valuable as the sum. When you combine this herb with that herb and that with that, you get a much more synergistic, I would guess you would call it an exponential beneficial effect, right? Exactly.